We're here back in the Fantasy Bar Special Thanksgiving edition of the Six Pack. Six of my favorite plays for you for the Thursday slate, including a three-man stack of the top scoring offense on the slate. I don't think a lot of people will get to. We'll include a run back on that that also may go overlooked. A running back in the mid-range I think could be ignored in a great matchup. And of course, my favorite play for Thanksgiving. Who are we talking about? Only one way to find out. It's time to belly up to the Thanksgiving Bar. Welcome in, guys, and happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Beers, Daily Fantasy Six Pack, doing a special holiday six pack for you on FanDuel and DraftKings with six of my favorite plays. Thank you, Zor. Stop by and check it out this Thanksgiving video. Before we get to those plays, do me a favor, take a second, click that thumbs up button, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content. Pints and picks for Thanksgiving will be up over on our Scores and Odds YouTube page and Week 13 NFL videos. For the Sunday slate will also be out. So busy time here, but let's talk some Thanksgiving three-game slate here. Let's start at the running back position with Rico Dottle of Dallas. I think Dottle probably goes overlooked. Everybody's going to have ownership on Thanksgiving, but there are a lot of good running back options on this slate. So I think he gets squeezed out and is not as owned as he should be in this spot. 15 or more opportunities now in four straight games for Rico Dottle. 19 carries last week and really been involved in the passing game for Dallas as well, averaging over four and a half targets per game over the last five. The Giants really been giving it up on the ground. Third most rushing yards allowed per game, six most receiving yards allowed per game to running backs. And of course the fifth most fantasy points here, Dallas, a home favorite. Good spot here for Rico Dottle against this awful Giants defense. All right, wide receiver up next with the big playability of Jamison Williams of Detroit. So we're looking for guys that can break the slate. And Jamison Williams, one of those guys. Detroit, big 29 and a half point team total in this one. And Williams has been fantastic in Ford Field. Normally don't give you guys splits like this, but when we're narrowing things down and looking at a smaller slate, things like this can be important in his four home games, averaging over 101 receiving yards per game, three touchdowns in those games, and giving us nearly 21 DraftKings points per game you think about defensively chicago going to be focused on stopping gibbs montgomery if he's able to go amon St. brown if he's able to go should lead to many opportunities here for jamison williams one-on-one -on -one to make a big play love the spot here on thanksgiving for jamison williams all right we like jamison williams let's pair him up with his quarterback and jared goff now this one not going to be sneaky here jared goff provides a great floor guy with some upside going to have some ownership the quarterback pool nothing special here but goff is just a guy i want to play in all formats multiple touchdowns now in seven of the last nine like we talked about with jamison williams this offense is so electric at home averaging over 21 DraftKings points per game in his five home games chicago not the easiest matchup but over the last couple games we've given it up in the passing game to green bay and minnesota giving up 294 passing yards per game so i think detroit's going to find plenty of success here through the air jared goff my favorite quarterback for thanksgiving all right we're not done let's give it one more shot with detroit at tight end with sam laporta now, as i mentioned a lot of people are going to stack up the lions no doubt but how many people are going to end up on this three-man stack of goff jamison williams and sam laporta so we'll give us a different look from the builders using the running backs using them on the st brown all of those great plays just trying to find ways to get different here on this small three game slate now we haven't seen any massive games out of sam laporta but i really like what i'm seeing here recently the targets have certainly been there six targets for him in three of the last four games we know that upside is there and if this team is going to score a bunch of points sam laporta always an option around the red zone lowest price that we have gotten all season long here we know DraftKings kind of lowers the pricing here on thanksgiving but take advantage at just 4100 there are some other tight end options i would expect people to gravitate to mostly john o. smith of the dolphins pucker craft a little bit cheaper than laporta chicago has had some troubles with tight ends 10th most receiving yards allowed to this position stacking up those lines in a different way here with jamo jared goff and Sam Laporta. All right, let's get you a run back on that one at wide receiver with Roma Dunze. Now, similar to what we talked about with Detroit, I think if people are looking at Chicago, they're going to most likely roster DJ Moore off his big game, Keenan Allen off a million targets last week, and likely forget about Roma Dunze. And while the production hasn't been there, 20 targets over the last two weeks, certainly encouraging here. Bears going to be throwing a lot in this game, 10 point underdogs here. The Lions have had major issues with wide receivers. We're talking bottom three in the entire league in receptions, receiving yards, and fantasy points allowed to this position. And it's only a matter of time with all these targets 
for Roma Dunes to have a big game could come here on Thanksgiving in this potential shootout with the Detroit Lions. All right, it's time for my favorite play on Thanksgiving. Before we do that, let's run a little special Thanksgiving Beast contest. All you need to do, click that thumbs up button, head to the comment section and guess fantasy points on DraftKings for my Thanksgiving Beast. Whoever's guess is the closest. We're gonna give you a free month of Roto-Grinders or scores and odds premium just for hanging out in the fantasy bar. All right, let's wrap it up with my favorite play, you know I'm at, the Thanksgiving Beast. All right, one more running back to go here. We are rolling with Josh Jacobs of the Packers, the beast of Thanksgiving. Now, Jacobs has absolutely been a beast here of late. 22 or more touches now in three of the last four games has delivered 20 or more DraftKings points in four of the last five. Couple of those games, nice ceiling games of 28 and 31, seven total touchdowns over that five game span. Miami a middling matchup as far as fantasy points go, but they do give up a ton of rushing touchdowns, eighth most in the league at 10. Packers healthy team total here and home favorites. I think Josh Jacobs continues to dominate on the ground. Josh Jacobs easily my favorite play on the board and the beast of Thanksgiving. All right, guys, that'll do it for our special holiday edition of the six pack. As always, any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that YouTube comment section right below the video or on Twitter at Beer Makers Fan. Don't forget your guest for Josh Jacobs fantasy output on DraftKings for a shot to win a free month of Roto Grinders premium or a free month of scores and odds premium. Speaking of scores and odds, head over to our scores and odds YouTube page. Got a pints and picks ready for Thanksgiving as well. Two prop bets I absolutely love. If you're into betting props, hanging out with family, who doesn't want to bet props, play some fantasy, make sure you check that out over on our scores and odds YouTube page. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut guys. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there and your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck on this Thanksgiving slate and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more DraftKings, FanDuel, and other DFS content. And you can check out our daily live show schedule on rotogrinders.com slash videos.